German Masters. Willkommen aus dem Tempodrom in Berlin. Der erste Spieler aus der jungen Garde. Zum ersten Mal kämpft er heute in einem Finale eines Weltranglistenturnieres. Bitte begrüßen Sie den Amateurweltmeister von 2022 aus China. Si Zhao da ist der Seriensieger dieser Saison. Drei Turniere hat er schon gewonnen, bestreitet heute sein siebtes Finale in dieser Saison. Der zweimalige German Masters Champion, George Trump. I think Judd Trump put it best himself last night. He said, yes, there are bigger prize funds in some of the tournaments, but walking out here at the Temper Drone when it's packed like this is a money-can't-buy experience. What a great ovation the two players had ahead of the best of 19 frame final, playing for the £80,000 first prize, the Brandon Parker Trophy, and there'll be a picture with that now. Eight frames this afternoon as the pictures are taken ahead of a mouth-watering clash here in Berlin today. So Judd Trump appearing in his 43rd world ranking final against C. Jawi featuring in his first. Who's going to prevail? You. It's a fascinating clash, the this. Frame. Judd Trump to break. Best of 19, eight this afternoon. Judd Trump Thank you. appearing in his fourth German Masters final. He's won it twice. He's going to get us underway. And rarely for him, a bad break off catching the blue. So an immediate chance for young C. Jawi. 21 years of age, he wants to put to bed being known for nearly reaching the world final. Of course, he wants to be known for winning tournaments. This is his chance today. Can we please make sure all the phones are switched off or on silent? Everyone's still settling down after the introductions. Tatiana Wollaston, the referee, just reminding everyone to turn off the phones and just sit back and enjoy this match. Al McManus is alongside me to do exactly that. Oh, very much so. Thank you, David. Can't wait. Yeah, the waiting is over. Every final, I think, throws up a vibe, a feeling. And this one has something different, doesn't it? For once, Judd is the elder statesman in a final. 13 years older than his uh, young opponent. Far and away, the, the warm favourite. But Xi Jiawei is playing fantastic, isn't he? Let's hope that he settles in early. He certainly has the first couple of shots. Because this could be a classic encounter, no doubt about it. Nine. Well, he's the 13th player from mainland China to reach a ranking final. He's looking to become the seventh to win a title. And there will be sundry spin-offs coming his way if he does, not least uh, immediately the Players' Championship to qualify for that. <coughs> he said after beating Karen Wilson that he doesn't think about his opponents, he thinks about his own game. <coughs> and he's looking to just settle here. Of course, 16. played yesterday afternoon in this very environment, same environment for the semi-final, so he's used to the one-table setup. <laughs> And it is some setup. Twenty two. 
23. Yeah, taking these nicely, and here's the first big shot of the final. No joy it's in a bit of a red brick wall there. But a good positive start. Handy. 29 lead. See Joey. It's nice to get 29. your hand on the table early in a big final like this, being the underdog. Yeah, he didn't miss, he just didn't get on one. Judd Trump's sixth ranking final of the season, seventh all told. He's also played the title match of the champion of champions, of course. He's won three titles. He's looking to, for his career, get to 27. That would leave him just one behind the great Steve Davis on the all-time list. He actually said himself, it's a little bit like, it feels a little bit like when he played John Higgins in that world final, first time. Back in 2011, he was the 21-year-old then, the new kid on the bays. Now he's the established player trying to hold off the, the next generation. I don't think there's any question that C can win this final. He's got the scoring, we know that. In terms of scoring, he's not as, as heavy as Judd, but it is in there. Certainly no, no problem. It's whether he's able to compete with Judd when it gets down to this sort of stuff. Is he going to be afforded enough chances? If Judd plays well, he's likely to win comfortably because he, on the evidence of what we've seen this week, he's not giving away many chances on the cheap. No, I mean, Trump's safety game last night was superb against Craigie, and that is one area where you expect him to be on top. So, see, when he does get chances, and he had one straight away, of course, in this match, we'll be looking to, to make the most of them. He's got a score, hasn't he? You think if it, if it gets a bit disjointed, Trump is the favourite. But, of course, he can also make the breaks. Evidence there, that last shot from CJ Oe, it wasn't safe. <laughs> Trump's found one. Shot to nothing, but might lead to something. Yeah, so many weapons that he has. Five. Beautifully picked out, open in red. Six. And two nice shots to get in position. His mid-range game has been superb this week. Now, C went into them. No joy. How about Judd? Perfect. All right, it was a far easier shot. You know, Twelve. Not liable to stick on them, but... He's made seven centuries in the tournament, although uh, none in his last two matches. But in general this season, 64 for the campaign. The next best is 38, so it just shows 19. you the heavy hitting he's been doing. Twenty. Twenty-six. Twenty-seven. 
33. Not a seat to be had, as you would expect here today. And that will be true whoever's in the final, but they've certainly been rewarded with a very interesting match up here. Yeah, that will do a bit of a gamble. Trying to release that red. Good to go now. Plenty of reds in the open. Enough to win the frame at this visit without the need of the red on the left cushion. Yeah, this is where Judd's got such an upper hand over so many players. I mean, already the Evans is here in 44. this break. The shot making is there for all to see. And just the fact that he was so nice on that red guarantees the optimum angle on this black to just release these two reds. Perfect. Yeah, it's interesting here. He needs 13 points from these two reds. That's why he's playing this one to stay on pink black. But there's a miss. And that was a scoreboard 52. miss. See, if he plays the other red for bulk colour, he needs the, the difficult one. I wouldn't call the, the miss uh, by Judd a terrible error because it was sort of scoreboard enforced. spot only place it was going to go was there <coughs> yeah that's the slight difference in shot making isn't it Judd would have had no problem you would expect on that shot that C's just played uh, he doesn't quite have the artillery that, that Judd possesses and that's why, as David said, and rightly so, any chance he gets, he's got to make full capital. That's two now. All right, the first one, we're not culpable of anything. He went into the pack and no good. But what a shot that is. And that's a statement shot. I'm going to play an open game because maybe he realises that if it gets a bit edgy and a bit tight and tactical, I'm probably not going to win. Oh, that's a loose one. He's still just about OK, but... 13. You know, it'd be a shame to waste such a stunning pot on that last red by not clearing. Big pressure, frame one. Mm. 
Yeah, it's an example that every shot is of equal importance. He potted the tough red and then he just played a lax positional shot to put himself under pressure on this one, which he has missed. Here's the chance then for C and a good one. about the cannon on the pink had to pl pot it plain ball now the green is cuttable but as far as the cue ball is concerned there's a bit of lap of the gods about it if he plays it we've seen already his intent, here we go again. Ultra aggressive, this. Fabulous shot. We got a glimpse of the yellow, it just about passes the green. A couple of shots ago, it does pass, obviously, Six. but uh, I don't know if he has all of the pocket. Joey, six. Well, he's had now quite a few chances, hasn't he, to win this frame. Clever on a few counts. Free ball possibilities. Also, how does he hit it and get separation? Got to rely, rely on a bit of luck. Free ball then. Foul, no miss. Judge Trump, four, three ball. <clears throat> Yeah, not really left much. So, uh, Santiana Wollaston, who had a good ovation herself, actually. She got to walk on from the... 
replaces the white. Yeah, excellent referee. Tatiana's is superb. She also spotted the yellow just moved marginally. I mean, that looks perfect straight away. She almost doesn't need the marker. She's that good. The pink, just a fracture to you. Sorry. No marker way. Kessler is uh, the marker. Just, just a bit more and a little bit more to me. And the same with the yellow. So a little bit more to me a little bit more, if possible. And then I think it's a little tiny bit to this side. Let me double check it. Now it's as perfect as it's gonna, gonna get, regardless of how many more times you move it, to be honest, it's, it's very good. I think it looks close, close enough. Yeah, it doesn't it's have any material bit, difference oh, a millimeter a here or there. This one. To that side, yeah. Well, one way or another, it's a dramatic yeah. start to the final. Judge Trump caught the blue on the break off. See, Joey made a few, it's got right, another yeah. chance later, has had a couple since. Now he's in a bit of trouble here. 14 behind, snookered. Mustn't leave the yellow on. But first of all, he's got to hit it. A little bit this direction to the cushion and a bit this way. Could be that it's a little tiny touch more to the cushion, but I can't really see it on the screen. Okay, thank you, Mike. Trump for three ball. That's going to go back as well, you would think. Back. I mean, the points are stacking up. If he hit the pink and then gave away four, he'd need a snooker. a problem separation difficult to get any where Judd cleverly pushed the yellow too on top of the the pink so if this yellow goes in it should be the end of frame one yes the green will leave him 23 in front with 22 on so we've seen already his tactical play you know could well be a factor today This is why CJ Wee will be disappointed he couldn't put away one of the, the good chances he had. Well, he does have the chance Judge here. Trump. One snooker Five. needed.
this is the problem within a couple of shots he's in a snooker himself So, first blood judge Trump. Very interesting start this to a fascinating final. See John Wee, well he is having a look, but a couple of snookers now needed 27 behind. Not in great spots, really. credit for that one I wouldn't be playing the swerve here don't want to be leaving a free ball that's the priority number one just got to go side cushion his favourite ball is it it's the one he hits off the break off initially in this frame now it's refusing to go in chance to put the frame to bed once and for all. See <laughs> Joey feeling he had no option but to pot it, but now it's uh, Five. a much tougher task of course, just pink and black on. Needing two snookers. <laughs> 
procedure we find. Yeah, <laughs> I think fair enough to concede there. So, a fascinating start. See, Joel, we did have chances for sure, but it's Judd Trump who takes the first frame of the final. Ten needed to become German Masters champion. The frame of the German work. Masters final against C. Joel Wee. There's the Brandon Parker trophy named in honour of the late Brandon, who was one of the original promoters of this tournament, first staged here in 2011, one of the most popular destinations on tour now. C. Joel Wee didn't look like he'd be here at all. He was 4-0 down in the qualifying round that he had to play just before Christmas in Sheffield to Lu Hai Shan, but came through 5-4. He's beaten the likes of Yuan Sijun, Ryan Day, of course, Corin Wilson this week. Trump, we saw, with a very strong display against Tep Char and New and John Higgins yesterday. Sam Craig, he was a slightly more dragged out match. That he, he wasn't happy with conditions last night, but got through. And that's uh, the important thing. He got the win, and here he is in his 43rd ranking final. We saw in the first frame by C being a couple of times ultra aggressive. He doesn't want to go too far that way. Now he's got to remember, uh, Dave mentioned about, I don't think about my opponent and so much and just think about my own game. I don't Seven. think that's quite true. I don't think that's true of any player. You know, he, he obviously realises that tactically Judd's got the upper hand. So he is played against his opponent, and he, as you should do. You say, don't get overly aggressive. Certainly you can here. Get the right half of them as we see it. Nah, that's unlucky. Terrific contact. You can never read what the pack's going to do when you go into them like that, even with full pace. See, Joey, Joe is a player, and there's been a few who's better off having been on tour, dropped off, had a year out and come back. We've seen that with people like Neil Robertson, Sean Murphy, Karen Wilson in the past. He was on tour initially from 2019 to 2021, dropped off, got back on winning the World Snooker Federation title in 2022. That event is back on now in Albania. So he had that year away. Of course, he did beat Sean Murphy as an amateur, rather famously, in the UK Championship. But just a bit hungrier, maybe, having had to come back. What a fabulous pot this is. And <laughs> freed the black as well. Joey, 
Well, he's, he's showing intent, isn't he? He's showing Trump. I'm going to take them on. He didn't get the black, ultimately, but he's not backing away. Apologies if anyone watching, if your sound has gone a bit odd. We are trying to correct it. Yeah, that red might, uh, not sure if it does go, the one in the bottom of the cluster, but it's a kind of no-risk safety shot anyway. Or it should have been barring the you know, top bump of the middle pocket. It's given a, not a chance, but let's see what kind of Q power C has got not as powerful as his opponent, but certainly got quite a bit of it. He's going to need it here. One. Very good indeed. He's just landed a bit in sort of no man's land as far as making a play on the cluster of reds. He has a deep screw in the, the yellow direct. He's got to inject some power in this. Yeah, sort of a smattering of applause for the effort here. Big shot. And as I say, he's, he's not going to back away. And that, that sends its own message, I think. <laughs> Trump's been in that position many times.
what a shot this is. And if you can cut this Touching. red in and somehow get on a colour to get into the pack, you won't see as good a shot as that all season, that green from anyone. Oh, and it looks like it's just ducked in behind the green, the cue ball. Surely he's not going to cons uh, consider the blue. A long blue, I don't know. He is, but... Only if he can get contact on the cluster, but I don't think he can, so... Yeah, that was a terrific couple of shots, wasn't it? CJ, we 50. Every credit. Yeah, you saw him sort of willing the cue ball to hold up, but unfortunately it doesn't work like that. It kept running. One of Trump's victories in this tournament was in Milton Keynes. That's because of the, the pandemic. But uh, he's looking to become the first player to win this title three times. Mark Williams and Ali Carter, like him, twice winners. Yeah, bonus. Getting so tight to the green. Didn't know an awful lot about it, just played obviously in behind bulk colours to get so tight to it has given Judd a, a massive headache to get anywhere near the red left of picture. It's extremely challenging from here. Miss CJ Weefo. And what a leave, it's absolutely perfect. One. That's the key shot. Get nicely on a red, and he should win the frame.
Seven. Eight. Fourteen. Fifteen. Can't get in the top 16 immediately if he wins. He'll be up to 20th on the official ranking list, but getting in the Players' Championship, possibly the Tour Championship. He's qualified for the World and Welsh Opens as well. There's every chance he would gain a crucible seeding for the World Championship. So all these... 21. ...spin-offs are there in the background. For success. 22. This pink, and he'll be successful in this frame, barring snookers. 22. He's certainly taken the game to Trump. 20. Going for his shots. In the end, it was, I suppose, a bit fortunate to land tight in behind the green that set up this chance, but overall, 29. he's looking good. He's looking to play his own game. Very exciting player, I think. And one of those, certainly, if he did win one, you could see... 35. Only 21 years of age, you could see him racking up titles over the next few years. 36. Forty-two. Forty-three. We've had a few one-sided finals in this temper drum over the years. Let's hope this is a close one for 49. the audience this evening. Fifty. Fifty-eight. Sixty-two. Sixty-seven. Well, he'll have enjoyed this break, not least because he's made Trump just sit and watch it. <laughs> Frame's long since been over, but see Joey just playing himself nicely into this final. 73. Black's off the table, but the frame for see Joey is on the scoreboard. Terrific 73. And it's honours even in the early stages of... This Gypsy Joel Wee, the final of the German Masters, eight frames in this session, possible 11 tonight to become champion. There's that will be presented this evening. Nice 73 from C. Joel Wee just to settle in. He's up off the break off again very quickly, wasn't happy with it. Just slightly on the back foot at the moment, Trump, in this match. Could easily have lost the first frame, did lose the second. And he's seeing an opponent going for his shots. He'll be going for this one. one. Yeah, it's noticeable. 
you play your first ranking final and people are looking for maybe some reaction or some sign that the occasion might be getting to, well, any player. It's a huge occasion, obviously, and you're all new to him, but on the evidence so far, not a bit of it. Five. Seems to be enjoying himself. That's where he's got to be tidy. Six. I know he can still go into the pack, but with a pink waiting as well, you play for pink and black. You don't play for black off that. It's a mini, mini mistake that might. I mean, we'll see. It might pay off in a, in a different way, but an unplanned way. Previous red just was loose and you know on the back of a great open and long red he's made nothing from it. Actually less than nothing with a seven point penalty. But it's four balls and <laughs> minus one overhaul, wasn't it? Well, this could be a big mistake. He's, he's opened the reds, left one on. So, what looked like a, a promising start to the frame for him is now out of his hands. Trump was not happy with his own break off shot. But he's in. Trump himself made the comparison to when he played John Higgins in the World Final 2011, but of course it's worth saying he had just won a ranking event himself then. He'd won the China Open. So he had a, a trophy on the mantelpiece already. Oh. Twelve. Ninety. This is a benefit of being so good and so strong in every department for the moment. Or certainly so far in this final, Judd's been as I say, quite watchful and been quite safety-minded, but when he gets his chance, he's able to switch between modes so quickly between defence and attack. It's not like he's gone into his shell, nothing like that in the match so far, still the very early stages of it. Okay. 
And that's why, as we said, sees your wee every single chance he gets like the good one he had at the top of this frame. He's got to do a bit better than that loose positional shot of the red over the right corner. Basic mistakes will not be forgiven by Judd. Twenty-seven. Just landed. A bit awkward on the red. Cue ball's been brilliant all week long, I think. But the odd time when he has lost the cue ball, talking about switching modes, it's into now shot making. Mod, can he come up with one here? Well, I enjoyed that one, didn't I? As did Trump. Yeah, he's recovered well. Uh, <laughs> gone straight for the gap. 35. It's a bit of an adventure, isn't it? That's the thing with Trump. Okay, so it makes him so exciting. Yeah, it's interesting to note that he didn't play on either red on the end cushion. Still being quite careful. But the last two reds have been of stunning quality to keep this going. Tonight. Yeah, eventually Trump. the mist does 39. come. I'll have to keep going to the well, I guess. Just sort of lost ideal position, didn't he?
yeah, I got some some interest in the the plant. It's one of those he's going to be playing the shot anyway, so he's got to manipulate it slightly. Yeah, difficult to do that, and uh, again, it's a wee bit of a lazy one, cue ball wise. Forty four in front, Judd. Enough reds dotted around to put this frame away with one good pot. He just didn't pay enough attention to his cue ball. See? Block ball. Well, right from a very young age for Judd Trump. Sundays were about Eight. snooker finals in various junior events. Nine. And of course, on the professional tour from 2018 to 2021, over three seasons, he won 14 ranking titles. Six in one season. Just dipped a little bit last couple of years, didn't he? I suppose it was impossible to keep going at that level, but he's not far off it 16. now. He's looking to win his fourth this campaign tonight. With plenty more to come. Got that relentless attitude that the great players do have. Win one, get on with the next one. We saw that earlier in the season when he won in Brentwood, got on the plane to Wuhan, won that one. Came back to Belfast, won that one. See, Joel, he's just handing him a few opportunities 24. here. Trump lost his way when he was in, but didn't take long to get back in. Twenty-nine. Away. Wow. <laughs> Unbelievable. Yeah. I, I've seen it and I don't believe it. I, I'm thinking, there's a double on. Oh, dear. <laughs> I mean, if you, if you got that in a computer game, you'd be happy, wouldn't you? But to actually <laughs> do it on the real table, amazing. 35. Yeah, this isn't nine ball. So Judd Trump, he needed a couple of chances, but he got enough there and in front in this German Masters final. One more frame to come before the first interval. Judd Trump looking German for his 27. Because Trump was 4 up to Ronnie O'Sullivan in the last final, the World Grand Prix, a couple of weeks ago. So, no lead is really good enough till you've won, but he's uh, obviously looking for 3-1, just try and hold his young opponent off at the first break. Ball, no miss. Seizure, we four. So this red clearly pots to right middle. Yeah, just near jaw. It's head into that jaw, wasn't it?
no doubt CJ is going to take a lot on, which is fine. It, it really does boil down to how many does he get. He didn't get that one. He has left Trump this opening. Yeah, that was another terrific shot. Six. To get straightish on this red means that he's got so many ways he can go about this. Blue is the option. Seven. Again, it's, we make the point all the time. He's got so much to call upon and the shot making stakes to set up the opportunity. This obviously been right up there and one of his best assets. <coughs> Nothing he can do about that, though. So, Cijal, he's got to grasp his opportunity here. Yeah, great scoring chance this. He actually equaled his highest break at this tournament, 140. Made 12 centuries this season. But sometimes it's about the timing. You know, Trump was looking good there on the attack, unlucky to knock a red in. So it's the sort of psychological damage he can inflict as much as anything here if he can win the frame. Seven. That's quite a good, sort of thoughtful shot. That easy to play on the pink, but pink going on the black spot. Then you pot the black, and then that gets a bit congested. So it's good thinking. So he's clearly trying to get this black in play and keep the pink where it is. That that was excellent thinking. Well. That by C. Currently in Albania, it's the World Snooker Federation Championship, effectively the World Amateur Championship, and all the guys there will be well aware this man won that two years ago. Gets you a two-year tour card. Twenty. But then it's about making the step up, because as I said earlier, he had already been on tour for two years. Twenty-one. But you're in with the big guns, aren't you? And it's sort of sink or swim time. Had a relatively quiet season. He's won quite a few matches, but it wasn't until this week that he went on an extended run in the tournament. And I know a lot of snooker fans excited to see him again. He created great memories, of course, at the Crucible. Won a lot of friends there. Just the way he played, the way he conducted himself. Twenty nine. Yeah, that's superb. He's not going to be able to pressurize Judd tactically in this match. The only way he's going to be able to hurt him is by punishing and making Judd suffer. It wasn't a mistake as such by Judd, just plain old bad luck, but that's all part of it.
It's difficult to get far. Judd at it, as we say, and under pressure. The only way you're going to do it is by scoring heavily when the chance comes along because he's not going to get many freebies like this one. again nothing Judd could do about that So he has taken advantage. This black to lead by 62 with 59 on. I was so impressed earlier on in the break when he didn't play on pink that would have congested the black spot. It was almost a a case of what he didn't do that was more impressive. 60. It shows me that he's learning all the time and thinking properly about his break building. Just got to be careful here, though. This door is ajar for Judd. 60. Reds dotted around the pink spot are going to interest them. As far as getting a snooker, a few shots down the line. Yeah, CJ Wee, I mean, he was a long way in front against Ryan Day in that uh, quarter-final 4-1, but Ryan Day did get the snooker he needed in the sixth round. He could have ma made it 4-2, just didn't make the clearance. Yeah, it, C has taken his foot off the gas just for a split second there and played quite a loose shot. Again, I think it's just a, you know, a safety shot would have been more the order of the day there. Nine. And having Six. played that pretty much to perfection, he should be good position on this last thread. 17. To try and get in behind that pink with a cue ball. Should have been straight though. That was not, not as good a chance to well see in behind it. Even covering the base 20. here of putting the red in bulk. So this is key now. You can get in behind the black. The red should be in bulk. Yeah. Trump, 24. Not what he was after. It's a chance missed for Trump, and it's a very relieved C. Joey. 
but it sets it up nicely for everybody watching. They're going to be coming back level for another four frames this afternoon. Six. 44 in front, so I don't think there's any danger here of Trump playing on. So an hour and 13 minutes for the first four frames. Judd Trump and CJ Wee head to the dressing rooms, all square in the German Masters final. A fascinating matchup between these two. She's the 13th footage. finalist from China in a ranking tournament. So we're just waiting for the players to return and uh, four more frames to come all the signs are it's going to be close coming back this evening let's see though if either one can just establish an advantage here and there is that lovely trophy they're playing for it's one of those you've got to make sure you don't drop because <laughs> that will be trouble wouldn't it but uh, it'd be lovely to take that home and have it on the mantelpiece for the next 12 months crowd are back in from uh, outside where there's a lovely food stand and merchandise stand everyone gathers to chew over what they've seen but they don't want to miss a ball of the action of course should just mention as well our colleague Rolf Kalb has done a great job as ever as MC commentating as well for German Eurosport and has done so much over 35 years now to try and educate the, the German public about snooker. I'm sure he's enjoying this match as the players return. Thank you. The fifth frame, Judd Trump to break. Thank you. Take a seat quickly, two, two. please. Now, Judd Trump has not been happy with his two break-off shots so far. He's left reds on both times. Be happy with this one. Much happier. Yeah, 2-2. Two, two. Four frames remain this afternoon in the final of the German Masters. See Joe attempting to get his name on the list of ranking event winners. He would be the 76th player to do so. Yeah, it's about what you'd expect, I suppose, an hour and 15, average frame time, 18 minutes. There the high breaks. C's actually had the two highest, 73 and 60, so far anyway. Trump at the double. Of course, he could have had a big one in frame four had he not been unlucky to knock a red in going into the pack off the blue.
Yeah, it was a clever pick out this, wasn't it? Six. She would have been disappointed that frame four into the pack and only to see a red disappear. That's one of the reasons his brother is with him. He'd have gone back into the dressing room or the practice room and Thirteen. he'd have said, right, OK, no big thing. Let's just get back to working. Fourteen. Set about trying to build a lead going into this evening session. To put it to the back of his mind, which I'm sure he has. Yeah, and it's not like he has the pressure in the sense that, oh, he's not won one for two years, you know, can he win? I mean, he's won three this season. So it's just, in Stephen Hendry's word, it, it's just greed really now, isn't it? Win as many as you can, that's what the great champions want to do. He was the same, Steve Davis. Whatever tournament they were playing in that week was the most important one. Those two would have loved in their heyday to have had a tournament like this. They had many great tournaments to play in, but uh, of course, 2011, this tournament was established at the Temper Trump. This is his uh, not new way, but breaks, he picks them off. Build the lead, build the frame, and sort of mid break, try and find a way 35. of pushing more into the open like this. So accomplished at it. So many shots he has, as I said before. In and out of ball, all that sort of stuff, no problem. Four two one. I said uh, earlier in the week a few times that his cue ball's been superb this week, more so than I think I've ever seen, generally. And, oh, there's a, quite a poor one, just to say that. But uh, because his powers of recovery are so good and the amount of shots that he has, it needn't be pristine, his cue ball, all the time. Although clearly there, that that's... Quite a serious blunder for any player to land this awkward. In and out of bulk. Oh. There's the recovery. Perfect again. Yeah, it's akin, isn't it, to Sebi Ballesteros playing golf, you know, sort of seeing a lot of parts of the course maybe he shouldn't have done, but still having that, that genius to recover. This time it's the pack. Fifty-one. Don't like him to miss a target that wide. D 
Dave called it earlier, it tends to be that way, doesn't it? A bit of an adventure. Same with this one. Good drum. 51. Yeah, so still not improved tie break for the day. Outwardly, though, he, he does seem able to accept if, you know, if it goes wrong, how he's feeling inside, we don't know. He won't like that one, and what a kiss as well. <laughs> wow. Yeah. And if the yellow goes, which it appears to, this is a great chance. They're actually a lovely pack as well. Providing he gets a piece of them. Oh. Three. Yeah, it's disappointing. That is a huge target for both of them to miss. DJ Wee, three. That's why the cannon's so important on the pack. You, you let Judd back to the table, and more often than not, he's the one that's going to start to dictate. There's some shot he's played there, covered all the reds, which are all in a potable position. So he can't afford to leave any of them on. He's 48 behind. exactly what's happened so Trump gets a second chance to win this fifth frame one I think if you'd have said to him when he played John Higgins in that world final in 2011 in due course you're going to become one of the best safety players in the sport he might have recalled in horror but he has done. He's all round game now. He's fantastic. Still the heaviest scorer on tour this season, 64 centuries. But when he has to pull out a great save, that invariably he does do. And it looks like it's won him this frame. It's one match, it's divided into two sessions, they're divided into two mini sessions. It's all about just trying to gain any sort of advantage. And that's the main priority, of course, to try and get a lead coming back this evening. Twenty-seven. Twenty-eight. Thirty-five. Thirty-six. Forty. 
So, see, Joel, we did have that chance, didn't get into the reds. Then Trump had him in a horrible spot. He left a red on, and Judd Trump, for the third time, is the odd frame in front in the final 3 2. Three frames remain in the first session of the German Masters final. Never been more than a frame in it. Trump, for the third time, is in front. So strong, even with the butt in the air, it was quite awkward. Queen having to muscle it and force the red in. Once again, such an asset to have. Those awkward shots, the ones that keep the the kettle. You think he's out of position and he comes up with another one. It's been a feature of his final so far. At least I would say half a dozen of those type of shots, those recovery shots that keeps the bandwagon rolling on. Ten. Another needed here, not a not a setter, far from it. But he doesn't worry about having to keep recycling the break, doesn't bother him at all. In some ways, he seems to thrive on it. And it shows skills. Eleven. And this time, the cue ball is perfect. Seventeen. Mm, hampered furniture time. If he's going to play the black. in playing it, he does have at least a couple of reds to potentially get on.
24. 25. 25. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's only a break of 25. He's almost covered every blade of grass and if there is such a thing in a snooker tail, but you get the point, it just keeps on potting them. just beginning to take a grip of this final is Trump I think he senses the chance to put a bit of daylight between That's himself and C Forty-two. Hasn't been overly successful going into the pack today. How about now? Perfect. Was never going to last, was it? No, and that's the thing, he went 3-2 up without any fireworks, really. Still in the lead. Maybe the fireworks will come now, in the remainder of the session, that's the danger. 49. Made uh, seven centuries in the tournament. So we'll need another red after this pink, and it'll be a, a quick kill. Yeah, the Trump move has been seriously made. Sixty nine. Nine hundred and sixty five career centuries. Three Seven. behind John Higgins, who's in second place to Ronnie O'Sullivan on the all time list. Seventy-six. 
77. Didn't have a lot of angle there, but managed to fashion something. 82. It'd be annoyed. 82, but not a century. But even so, he won the frame in one visit. And for the first time, significantly, he is two frames in front. Annoyed not to make the century, but he's opened up some clear blue water against C. Jo Wee, leads him 4-2. It's difficult to distinguish a scream of fear from a scream of excitement, both equally intense, wild, irrational, an instinctive reaction. Is it a coincidence? We don't think so. Because what we fear is what makes us feel most alive. Say hello to more possibilities. More family vibes. More party at minds. More get home late. More fancy dates. More on the goes. More take it slows. More every days, made special days. Order more at hellofresh.co.uk. If something in your body doesn't feel right, don't carry the worry of cancer with you. Tests could put your mind at rest. Until you find out, you can't rule it out. Contact your GP practice. What you waiting for? Today looks bright with a good chance of getting stuff done. begins today with NatWest. Frame seven, Judd Trump to break. So Judd Trump, for the first time, is two clear in the final. Two remain this afternoon, 4-2 against C. Jawi and uh, a crisp 82, his highest break so far this afternoon in frame six. Great pot, but Cannon is not the black in, and he's left Trump a red to far corner. One. Yeah, the snooker gods payback, it seems, from frame four when Judd went into the park and a red disappeared. Yeah, that was equally unfortunate. Brilliant pot. And things now starting to just happen for Judd. All right, not absolutely Eight. perfect on this red to middle, but if it goes in, he's off and running again. 
he'll sense within himself this is the time to really press home the advantage that he's built up. Not this time. Jetram, eight. So, an important visit coming up now for Sijawi. The frame could have been over through a piece of bad luck for him, but he's got the chance. Trump missing this red. One. Seven. Eleven. Twelve. Whether he'll pay for it remains to be seen, but I, I would rather, I must confess, that he left that red over the corner as backup. He didn't think about it really a few shots ago, and so he's having to do the thinking now, and it, hopefully for his sake it won't be too late. Sixteen. Just about held on to decent position on the green. That's too forceful. See, I, th I do 17. think he paid the price for not thinking earlier on in the break. He didn't get the order of taking the reds correct for me. Well, I said it was a big visit. It didn't come to much, did it? No. Judd Trump determined now to, again, psychologically take advantage as much as the scoreline really put CJ in a bad place for the last frame of the afternoon. And a bad place in the match, full stop, if he's 6-2 down.
15. Well, he's knocked the plant on as well. That'll keep. That's perfect. Plant to left corner. Then with the three straightforward reds. To put himself well past the point of snookers required. See Joey, eight. double it's certainly on if he wants it it's certainly on if he wants it sound the uh, big last frame of the afternoon klaxon because it is a big one for C. Joel where he needs to win it you feel otherwise it is a tall order against a very experienced winner in Judd Trump 6-2 he's in trouble 5-3 still of great hope this evening Five. he knows better than anyone that big matches can turn around of course after what Seven. happened in Sheffield but we know how confident Trump is right now. Ten. Now look at that. The blacks had the nerve <laughs> to get in the way. So now what? There's one person not smiling. It's that man. He's got to prepare himself for a big frame. Needs to win it, you feel. Judd Trump then has made his move from the interval where they were all square at 2-2. He leads 5-2 and he's halfway 
to the German Masters title with one frame left to play here this afternoon. So one more frame to play here this afternoon. See Joel Wee getting good support. There's the Brandon Parker trophy that the winner of the German Masters will receive. Judd Trump leading 5-2. See Joel Wee just looking for a foothold coming back tonight. There is slightly more wriggle room now. It used to be best of 17. It's now best of 19, this final. Well, another wonderful pot. Yellow ball. Just feeling, feeling great right now, Trump. Feeling in control. Jet Trump, one. It's one of those that he wants to press on. He kind of feel it be disappointed with 5-3 now because he's certainly been the better player the last sort of 40 minutes. He led Ronnie O'Sullivan 5-3, didn't he? Halfway in the World Grand Prix final a fortnight ago. Came out the wrong side in the end, 10-7. Good on him for sticking to his principles. See, you not know, prepared to take a backward <coughs> step, trying as best he can to be aggressive. But you've got to keep knocking that type of shot in. Excellent opening red now. Where's the pink spot? Or where's the pink going to go? Up the table on the brown spot in all probability. Half out of commission, but... Seven. Can he get a handle on his cue ball for this visit? See, Eight. that's kind of the difference between the two players at the moment. Just losing his cue ball and doesn't, as we know, no one else does really, the power to be able to recycle it the way Judd can. <laughs> what looked a good chance 30 seconds ago a wee bit doubtful now. Great potters, these guys. You keep leaving mid-range, eventually you miss one. Thank you. 
Bit more like it. Twenty five. Small details, maybe play there on on the pink. You're guaranteed to be above the blue line. Good recovery. And getting ever closer to the frame he badly needs to keep in touch in this final. He's a player known so far for that great adventure in Sheffield where First ultimately seven. he just came up short of the world final. But I think everyone recognised at the time he's young enough to get over that. You could see the great That's potential him. in him, the star quality in him as well. And it's moments like this where you have to demonstrate that when you're in trouble in a big match against a great player. absolutely no logic to the shot that he just played there's none whatsoever he's got enough reds in the open where he can just pick them off certainly two that we clearly are i mean very obvious why he's playing into the pack with force i, I just don't know if you don't need to do something don't do it An opportunity that he simply shouldn't have. It was a bad decision again, as much as anything else. Will Judd make him pay? Won't be the first time. One.
two hours playing time, a critical point reached as well. Si Chol Wee was looking so good until for some reason he tried to disturb them when he had enough on seemingly to win the frame. 41 points in this last frame of the afternoon. So, presented with another chance to pull one back. Pressure's come on though, isn't it? You can see it. Often is the case, because it's the last frame, there's going to be three hours with nothing happening, so it's going to set the tone for when they do return. Past it. Seven. See Joey, we seven. Joe Weevil. Well, those four points are pretty helpful, actually. Can he knock this in? Big shot. frame yeah, this time he's got the the desired result with a safety shot this is a bit of trouble for C play the red near the left corner, the one that he snookered on, he's got to make some sort of play in that for me. None of the other reds go, really. I think he's got to gamble on it. Just hit it and hope you get it safe. Yeah, it doesn't appear to have any other appealing options with the other four reds. I'd be leaving them 
where they are for the time being. Take my chance. Yeah, it doesn't appear to have any other appealing options with the other four reds. I'd be leaving them where they are for the time being. Well, it didn't finish great, needless to say. Just looking for something better than this, certainly. It's amazing how often these, these last frames just feel so important, purely because they're going to stop <laughs> for a few hours. It's got that feel about it, for sure, and the crowd getting involved as well. Yeah, it's like a match within a match, this frame, isn't it, now? Blue ball. Trump, one. Yeah, he can see a red full ball, I think. One second away from the black. It's quite tight, actually. It's one of those, the only way you'd find out. <laughs> take the red that's touching the black, take that away, but... <laughs> and then you would be able to get a definitive answer. We'll see whether it makes a difference. But he's certainly in trouble here, see. a bit straighter it would actually be a very good chance for Judd but it's a wee bit awkward oh, for blue pink and at last or oh, well I thought it was good <laughs> he was going to have the red on find a bit of solace in this match that that I've been striving for. Got a bit frazzled. Still is frazzled. I mean, it was thin, obviously. Well. See, Joey's gonna have the same shot. <laughs> That's why, Judd. He might actually get another shot at it. I think it's put back in. <laughs> yeah, and it's a nasty one. It's very thin, isn't it? Yeah, you could see from side on, actually. Let me say. Such a thin cut, this. It could ha easily happen again, that. Of course, C is 47 in front, so... A red and a reasonable size colour. That's what he's working out. One of those he could actually put Judd back under two different rulings, in a miss and play again. <laughs> but uh, you know, immaterial, obviously. 
But yeah, it's a it's a, a strange sort of decision that he's got to make. I think the first thing is what he's not going to do. He's not going to put Judd back in because there's there's no real point to that. He's not in any great trouble. It's just whether he thinks the the cut is on. Well, that's the thing because Trump has basically said to him it is because he's taking it on. But back. well, Marcel, can he's you going back. Up, well, this is a risk. Yeah, that's the last thing I think was going to be <laughs> a miss called, obviously. And that's very good already. The ball's replaced, so Judd okay. Thank you, Marcel. doesn't have the cue ball in hand, effectively. Groundhog Day actually was last week. At least this time he didn't go in off. <laughs> so what it all means is C needs one red to get to the snooker's required stage. But what do you do now? Do you put it back again? Yeah, I'll tell you what, it might not be the worst because if he misses it again, he loses a frame, doesn't he? <laughs> He'd get the warning. It's one of those where you're just trying to trying to think. Well, he's not having it. He's having him play it from here. That's the decision he's made. It's one of those sort of sat at home, you know, with a, a, a soft drink. You know, you, it's all very clear. But out there, it's been that sort of frame where it's hard to sort of almost think properly. I wonder if CJ we even twigged about the three miss thing. Because <laughs> Trump couldn't have played that sh same shot again. So what would he have played? But anyway, that's gone. Yeah, it was a bit of a head scramble, wasn't it, all round? Having to defend here now, see. And the table's wide open, isn't it? Any mistake's going to be pounced on. Oh, that's superb. That is a fabulous show. Look at this cue ball. again for C no obvious return to bulk having to think of course he needs one red and Trump needs a snooker so if he can't think of anything else he may take it on if he doesn't get it though it's out of his hands of course what happens next
Well, the Miss J Trump Four. Yeah, now this will be replaced, I would imagine. Worth a look for Judd. But just the tariff of difficulty and the safety that C is playing has almost made Judd's mind up from there. So, yeah, pal, have another go at that. Knock yourself out, because it's a horrible shot. It really is. And it's one of those, looking at the cut that Judd played on that red in the left centre, how does he get the cue ball That's inside okay. that line? It's got to be wafer thin. Just a touch this way, not, not, not far. And that's it. That's perfect. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Got to be wafer thin. Nothing else will do. We believe in the red. Well, no miss. Obviously, won't be playing it a third time, so he's now going to be taking on the long red unless Judd makes a play in this. It's kind of in Trump's calculation as well. Does he want to risk him? <laughs> taking the red on and getting it. Yeah, because there's a, a, a sort of unwritten rule in snooker that if, if the guy plays a shot that he's got no other option, he ends up knocking it in. That's why Judd's playing this. Yeah. Oh, and he's got it. He's got it. Wiped its feet, but disappeared. Well, see, Joel, we has made all the running in the frame, but now Trump has his chance to make Six. what would be a pretty devastating clearance. Seven. What a let off that is. So after all that, see Joel, we just needs a red and it should be 5 3. What a dramatic frame to end the afternoon with half an hour. <laughs> the relief is palpable, I think. Judge Trump is still going to be in front. He knows it could have been more. Overall, he'll be satisfied enough with his afternoon's work. But this frame, clearly significant for his opponent. He was struggling there quite badly at times, but barring, Eight. well, three snookers now, he's going to be two behind rather than four. CJ, we eight. Just got to be careful here not to do anything kind of daft. It's uh, a position with the red, of course, the free ball could come into play if Trump were to get a snooker. Yeah, the way that Judd is uh, normally like in this type of situation, 
Like a dog with a bone, isn't he? That could be quite a bit to run in this frame. Well, assuming it is 5-3, which is not yet, but assuming it is, it does give CJ Wee some hope coming back this evening. But Judd Trump justifiably the favourite to get this one. It would be a third success in the tournament. It would be a fourth ranking title this season. Yeah, of course, Trump doesn't want to pot the red. The free ball could come into play yet. Yeah. There's just a bit of danger here yet. Yeah. Particularly the sort of frame it's been, the longest of the match. Even there, you know, the in off was on. Certainly the danger is the longer it goes on, Trump gets a really good snooker. Yeah, well that helps, obviously. Controlled that quite nicely. So now, well, in fact, he's conceded the frame, so the session is over. Judd Trump then had the chance to clear up for 6-2, but he is still going to come back for the final session this evening with an advantage in the German Masters final. 5-3, he pulled away after the interval, and it's set up nicely for the conclusion tonight. Judd Trump looking for his 27th world ranking title leads CJ Wee looking for his first 5-3.